Welcome back to the channel. We are your Colorado real estate family and we are actually back to a city that we have always loved that apparently everyone else is starting to love too. So today we're going to be talking to you about why people are moving to Frederick, Colorado. All right, let's go. If this is your first time watching Pete and Chelsea Sweeney here, what we like to do on this channel is cover Denver and all of its surrounding cities, being your boots on the ground experts for anyone who are planning on moving into Colorado. So if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, little notification bell, and maybe give us a thumbs up if you really do like this video. And as much as we love making these videos for you, we love helping with all your real estate needs. So if you're looking for a licensed real estate agent here in the state of Colorado, yeah. we're gonna put our phone number down below right here. Give us a call or text. We are answering those every single day. Okay, so first things first, where is Frederick, Colorado? So it's funny, if you actually talk to any natives, Frederick seems really far away, but that's just not the case anymore. So from Denver, it's about a 35 minute drive north and we are on the east side of I-25, which is our main highway going north and south. If you're looking at going to Fort Collins, it's gonna be about a 45 minute drive and the airport's gonna be about equal drive, 45 minutes. Yeah, so obviously Frederick is almost right in between the two. I would say Longmont is more in the middle than Frederick is, but I mean, only 10 minutes between Denver and the Fort Collins commute, so not bad whatsoever if you uh, have to work either in Fort Collins or Denver. Before we get started, all the information that we got for this video, we got from statistics.com. So if you want to know any further information, go ahead and go to that website. But first, we're going to talk about livability, and statistics actually rates it as 72 out of 100. And so, not based on any other cities, this is based on Denver. Denver's is 62 out of 100, so definitely better livability than Denver. Okay, so what does that include? Obviously, so it's going to kind of take in comparison cost of living, education crime and residents overall happiness. Okay, so let's break into the second reason we think people are moving to Frederick, and that is going to be cost of living. So cost of living in Colorado is usually higher than the national average. National average is 100. In Frederick, it's 120.5. So that takes into consideration groceries, utilities, transportation, health, what am I missing? Real estate, Real mis estate. and miscellaneous. Yeah, miscellaneous. Uh, is that all? Yeah, them? I think that's it. Okay. Transportation, did you say transportation? I did, okay. I did. Okay, so that includes all of them, but that it is higher than you know the national average but colorado as a whole is usually higher than the national average yeah so another note on that as well too so colorado as a whole is actually the same exact number 120.5 so of course what we like to do is expose you guys to the real estate here on this channel so what is the median sales price in frederick as of october 31st of 2022 we're looking at a median sales price of 537 so what does that look like compared to denver denver's median sales price at the same time frame is five hundred ninety two thousand dollars. now you might think about it okay i'm going to be away from denver that's really not that big of a difference but let's let's break in a little bit deeper with that let's look at single family homes because the majority of the properties that you're going to be purchasing in frederick is going to be that single family style home so with that the median sales price of single family homes is the exact same number five hundred and thirty seven thousand dollars worse for breaking down single family homes in denver you're looking at 651 so now you could look all right now it's got at least you know almost that hundred thousand dollar gap in regards to median sales price as of october 31st of 2022. okay so the third reason that we think people might be picking frederick over other other cities is the crime rate. So crime is rated an A plus according to citytistics.com. I, I was so worried about quoting citytistics because <laughs> Peter, it took Peter like five runs to do it and I was trying to like not It's kind of a hard word to say that five times. Statistics. If you go fast, <laughs> we're known to talk fast and so when you say it fast, it all just runs together and it's not good and so I like in my head had to stop. So if I looked up, that's why. <laughs> all right, cool. So what does that kind of break down? What is incorporated into that A plus number? So total crime is one in a thousand people. Your Violent crime is zero in a thousand people and property crime is one in a thousand. Frederick is definitely a super safe city if you are planning on calling it your home. I think the other thing to note here is that Frederick is definitely not that city type living, right? Yep. And so obviously our larger cities, are, their crime is gonna look really different in comparison to some of these smaller cities. But people ask us every single time that they're moving to Colorado, what cities you know, have low crime rates? So this is one city that you could definitely highlight as a low crime rate. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a lot more rural here. Obviously it's not as city as all these other cities that we talk about, but it might be a great place to raise a family or even just somewhere you wanna retire. I mean, whatever your situation is, it's really not that far from Denver guys I mean think about it 35 minute drive yeah. of course that's without traffic so with traffic that might be you know closer to your 45 to maybe even an hour to get down there but it really isn't that bad as opposed to like say if you live 
the south of Denver, you're looking at a lot longer commute just because of that Denver Tech Center. I think too it's it's worth mentioning that Frederick is right off of the highway and so a lot of times when you start seeing, I don't know about you guys, but I don't mind highway driving as much as it would be, you know, maybe inner street driving with all yep. the stoplights and stop and go, like throw on a good audible and just, you know, hop on the highway and yep. go all the way straight down. So it's really accessible even though it might be a little further than some of the other cities. All right, cool. So the next thing we're going to break into is education, which is always super important to many of you who are out there watching this video right now. And so where does it rate? Just a quick note, St. Vrain Valley is a school district here in Frederick, Colorado, and majority of that is actually over in Longmont. And so it hops over the highway and kind of covers this Carbon Valley area too, which when we talk about Carbon Valley, we talk about Dakota on the south, Frederick in the middle, and Firestone on the north. And so it is actually rated an A- minus as an overall school district, which is amazing. It is. What is incorporated into that A-? minus? So you're looking at academics is a B plus, clubs and activities is an A minus, and college prep is an A minus, all according to niche.com. I will say that a lot of you, when you're reaching out to me, you know, your first call is typically with me and we're trying to get in that discovery mode. And those of you with kids, we're always kind of checking into the school districts. St. Vrain Valley is known for such a great school district. And so a lot of people I think that are moving here with families are definitely putting this high on their list. All right, cool. So we're way to the last part of the video to kind of tell you our personal experience and what we're seeing, why we think Frederick is blowing up in the way that it is. And so I kind of call it the Castle Rock effect, right? Where people worked in Denver, but they didn't want to live in Denver. And so Castle Rock started blowing up probably the last five, seven years. And now Castle Rock is insane. There's so many people living there. The property values are crazy high. I think something very similar is happening up in Frederick where it has that still that small town feel. It might not grow as big as Castle Rock, but people would rather live somewhere like this where at the end of the day, you know, they're done working in the city. They want to go there somewhere that's quiet. The other thing too is Frederick has a cute little old town and it's starting to blow up. We always talk about these old towns and how they have the infrastructure to be something really cool that these other old towns you know have currently like Arvada and things like that and so we already are seeing this change and blow up and become a little bit more I wouldn't say bougie but a, a little bit more how do you describe it um, like cool kind of you know like some a of these a little bit more hip you yeah, know a little more hip yeah. hip yeah it's cool well, I, think, <laughs> I should know those words and I think Frederick's done a better job of it as opposed to a few of these other cities because they still are all about keeping it local right they're not about getting the hippest thing in town just because it's the hippest thing in town they're like hey we want to support our local people here our lo local restaurants our, lo our lo local little boutiques anything like that and so they've kept that good vibe whether or not it's going to stay that way i don't know but yeah. right now it's actually a great place to be even though frederick is pretty small mm -hmm. you they have a ton of different activities that they do here in fact i think it was this time last year that we did a big frederick video and we mm -hmm. started talking about carbon valley because the tree is coming back up for the tree lighting yeah, ceremony I, light the tree. Oh, I don't know I if they can see, see it yeah, in the frame it, yeah. but um, um, they put a big old tree up. They have a lot of the same uh, activities that some of these larger cities have, even though it's such a small population. The other thing from my personal, you know, kind of perspective is that even though we're on the east side of I-25, yes. we're really close to I-25. So when we talk about that whole rule of thumb that if you're on the east side of I-25, typically homes are gonna be a little cheaper because you're not as close to the mountains. Well, this is about as close as you can get without being on the west side yeah. of I-25. So I do think that that's gonna make Frederick really really popular, especially because I think we're going to start seeing some major new builds filling in the space, the little space that we do have to the highway. I mean, we saw a big sign on the way over here yep. 
that had multiple spaces that they are they are just waiting to fill up with all these different builders. Yep, I agree. Okay, so we gave you four different reasons that we think people are choosing Frederick, Colorado when moving here. And if there's any other questions that you guys have in regards to the city, feel free to comment down below. We do these videos for you. And of course, guys, we're going to throw the phone number below one more time right there. Give us a call, give us a text, doesn't matter. We will answer it either way. Until next time, we love you. Bye. Bye.